after what feels like an eternity, we are finally putting the finishing touches on the chicken coop. This week I finished the run, I finally get that hinge to work, and we moved the chickens over to their new, luxurious, expansive chicken coop. So if you guys want to see what the finished product looks like, then just keep watching. This is my purgatory, and I'll be working on this chicken coop for the rest of my life. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I was planning on doing a whole chicken coop tour for this week's video, but unfortunately it doesn't look like I'm gonna have everything done by then because as always everything takes longer than it needs to so I didn't actually film me getting all this stuff together and like cutting the pieces and staining it and adding the hardware cloth because I was just like oh I'm just gonna do the tour because the run is um, somewhat easy really easy compared to a chicken coop and I was like you guys don't need to see that so I'm realizing though like I'm not gonna have a video for Sunday unless I just film something so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys me basically just finishing up, putting this thing together, attaching it to the coop, and then I'm hoping I can get the chickens in it today <laughs> because I just need to get the chickens in there. Like, I keep prolonging stuff where they are because I'm like, oh, like, the chicken coop will be done. Like, I only wanted them in that area for two weeks and then I wanted to rotate them, but they've been there for almost a month now, <sighs> which is fine, it's not a big deal, um, but it's just better and more beneficial to keep moving them, so anyways, I want to go ahead and continue moving along. So, let's just let's just do this. It's another day. Clearly this vlog did not go up last week. Um, it rained, poured yesterday, and that was the day that I was planning on finishing everything up. Um, just a couple little bit more stain up on the top bars that I installed before I stained them. Genius. Um, and then I did go ahead and put the, so I used hardware cloth, not chicken wire cloth, because it's a lot sturdier, a lot stronger, harder for animals to claw at. But I put that all around the base of the coop, as well as around some parts around it, and. <laughs> Try to bury it, but I'm gonna be honest, it's a quick job because 
I probably needed more hardwire cloth so I could dig it into the ground. That's where they say it's like dig it so that if animals are digging, they're not gonna hit it. They're only gonna hit the wire, they're not gonna get under the coop. But if I spend another dollar on this coop, my husband's gonna make me sleep in it. <laughs> so I had to stop. Um, and I had just enough to get like a basic perimeter around. We haven't had any issues with animals yet with our um, chickens. Obviously with winter coming, that could change. Really hope it doesn't, but yeah, I'm sweating from doing that. I did put topsoil underneath. The chicken coop is where I'm hoping that they will have their little dust bath. There's a little bit of a bar in there from the run itself to hopefully separate it. If I need to, I'll put a, like a two by four so that way they're not like kicking straw into it. Because in the front of it, I'm planning on doing the deep litter method where you put six inches of compost and they basically turn it up themselves. We're gonna see how that plays out because some people switch to sand. Um, but I would love to use the compost. But yeah, so I have straw. I have this top straw bedding that I just got from Tractor Supply that I've been using. Ideally, I would like to find organic because if we're using it in our compost, I don't wanna have um, pesticide sprayed straw in our compost for our garden. Um, and then I'm gonna put some diatomaceous earth in with the um, dirt underneath the coop for their dust bath. It helps get rid of like uh, mice, not mice, <laughs> lice and ants and things and mites on chickens so that way they can stay healthy and not get sick. And then I'll sprinkle a little bit also inside the coop when I put it in their straw, same same reason. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I, oh no, I was like, I think we can move the chickens in. I did get the piece of wood cut to put the, um, hopefully the hinges on correctly. It's beautiful, it's wonderful if you saw it on Instagram. I'm so happy. Um, so hopefully that's quick and I just have to paint it, nail it in, hinges on, and that is done. And then she's done and the chickens are going in. Tonight to the new hotel, they're getting upgraded, upgraded. Man, that's enough of that. But anyways, I'm gonna keep working because my husband will not believe me if I tell him that I'm done. He's, I won't even believe it. I just feel like this is my purgatory and I'll be working on this chicken coop for the rest of my life. the window because there's a lot of hay. <sighs> I realized I was supposed to put netting excuse me, spit on the window for the animals. I also didn't have enough straw for the run so I gotta buy more of that too. <laughs> Alright you guys, this is the moment of truth where I either complete the chicken coop or I burn it to the ground. Let's pray that I don't have to burn it because my husband. Okay, I did some unsafe things that I didn't want to show on camera, so I didn't get any hate and comments. But I cut the trim. I think the trim was also too long for the now accurate board size. And I think, I didn't show it all on camera, you know, mini meltdowns and some almost tears. But I think, I think we should be good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hammer it in, paint it, and um, feed my chickens. If you wanna know what to mean by chickens, these guys. <laughs>
you guys. <laughs> Purgatory, I tell ya. So, I was installing this, which it stinks, I was saying, I think, is that it's off-center. Um, because this is off-center, but I made this center, but then this is off-center, so this won't look too closely at this. But I was putting in my last screw, and the, the uh, battery died on my drill, which is hilarious. It's so funny. So I'm gonna finish it off with a screwdriver. I'm gonna go get a trip to the Dominican Republic because that's exactly what this chicken coop will cost me. Just kidding, I think. Um, but anyways, I just still have to prime and paint this trim board, get some more straw, like I said. And she done! She done. And we didn't get to go to soccer because it was raining <gasps> and that was boring. Yeah. Boring as broccoli. <laughs> the, worst. the worst. Alright you guys, we are 95% done the chicken coop and my husband has been away for two days, it feels like two years, and he's gone for one more full day. I can't wait. And so I unfortunately wanted to do more of like a walkthrough with you guys, but because I need him, where's the sun? I need him to um, help me film, clearly, this guy doesn't want me to put him down. I'm going to wait to do like a full tour, but... I want to go ahead and give you guys like a quick overview. I said 95% done because I still have to put the hardware cloth on the windows um, just to protect from predators. And then I also want to change up, I have a hair in my mouth. I also want to change up the um, food, probably not the water yet, but the food system for sure because I just feel like we're wasting a bunch. We have to throw it out at night so that we don't attract any rats or mice or other animals. And um, when it rains, it gets wet. So I did go ahead and buy a little system. I'm going to do, <gasps> Molly, you just, scared me oh my gosh <laughs> all of a sudden out of the corner of my eye I just see like these claws coming up <gasps> okay sorry guys this is all over the place but I just want to end this out and show you guys really quick and um chickens. and show you the chickens she loves catching the chickens just make sure you're gentle okay this is my favorite she loves me she's my most favorite her name is Henrietta Henrietta yeah Okay, so let me go ahead and just give you guys a quick overview and I, like I said once I finish it 100% I will do Where's my lighting? I will give you guys a full 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 Love tour it. But they're over here and they're loving it and I'm loving it and I'm so happy that it's basically done
<laughs> it's me for best chicken. Her name is Henry. Okay, don't throw her around. Well, well, mom doesn't like to know what she says.